Live your passion. A computer assembly technician builds computers from their parts, such as circuit boards, disk drives, cables and switches. When they have put the parts together, they test the computer and correct any faults. Meet Mandume Hamakwaya, a computer assembly technician employed by Pebble Computers. This is his story. My name is Amkwaya Mandume Linus. I'm a hardware technician at Pebble. I assemble um, a small form factor computer and also assembling laptop. Raised by his grandmother at Mandume at Oahadiwa village near Ongwa in Oangwena, Mandume from a very early age became fascinated with the workings of electronic equipment. Recalling how he and his twin brother often would disassemble old radios and fiddled with the components and then not being able to reassemble them, their fascination with electronics only intensified over time. After completing grade 10 at Hookstian Combined School at Roshpina in the Karas region, Mandume came to the capital seeking opportunity. First, entering the job market as a security guard and then as a petrol attendant. In supplementing his income, Mandume used his savings and opened up a small printing outlet, applying his self-taught skill in servicing and maintaining the computer and printers. An opportunity then arose for him to join an audio-visual company as a stage, lighting and audio technician apprentice. I started on, on DB Audio first on, on my junior technician uh, until on 2019 when I get retrenched. Not the sulking type, Mandume soon joined E-Bikes for Africa, a company that assembles electric bicycles that use solar power. And it was at their premises in Katatura's Bocamoso Entrepreneurial Center where he met his mentor, Vincent van Veik of Pebble Computers, who saw his potential and was willing to take him in as an apprentice. When I meet Mr. Vincent, I give him a call, then he say, you, you, you can come and drop your CV. After I drop the CV, then he called me to come in. Then I, I start uh, joining the team and they're on this position now. I'm Vincent van Veik, I'm the CEO and founder of Pebble, and we are the creators of the first Pan-African brand of computers designed and assembled in Namibia for Africa and the whole world. Our production model is very simple. We design, outsource production of components, procure standardized components, and assemble, image, and inject locally. Mandume is an assembly technician. Um, so once we, through the design process, the components arrive here, that's when Mandume starts working. He assembles small form factor computers and he also assembles laptops. With his innate skill and ability, Mandume has taken to his new environment like a fish to water. His enthusiasm and natural technical proficiency make him excel in an intense production environment. Let me say if you are opening a paper computer, I must make sure that everything I put it on a position where I will put it back. If you do not put it on, on, the, right, on, the, on the right place, you never do it. But if you put it on the right place where you know that I will put it back, on their position where it belong, you will make it. The construction of a computer may seem rather complicated, and it is. But 
taken one piece at a time, the process is quite simple in nature. Mandume's job at Pebble is to focus on the hardware side, which are the physical and visible components of the system, such as the motherboard, casing, the central processing unit, storage hard drives, and the power supply. To make the computer work, because uh, as, as, as I said before, we take it apart, then we put them together, like when we receive the component, then we put them together. Um, if you if you did not connect uh, connect them together, like it's having a hi-fi hi port, charging point port, if you do not put it back or you do not connect on a point, it will not work. And also put it SSD and RAM, then it will work after you complete everything, it will work. People think building computers are very complex. It's actually not. You must remember, we don't manufacture motherboards. We not we don't we don't manufacture casings. You know, we are builders of computers. Just very similar to how you build an aircraft. You use a Rolls Royce engine. You use a, a fuselage from from um, um, Boeing. Um, 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 you know, so there's a lot of elements in it. So computers are. Are simple. If you plan it properly, you know, we, we figured out the blueprint for it. Like I said, we design, outsource the production of these components and then we assemble locally. Now Mandume has a great understanding of computer hardware, how everything fits together, what makes a computer function. That's all also very important if you understand what the device does that you're building. The Pebble production space requires of staff to adhere to stringent production protocols. The wearing of gloves and protective clothing is compulsory. Mandume goes about his business in his uniquely quiet but efficient manner. Not to scratch um, the product because if I, I'm, I'm using my soft hand, I'll scratch it even though I see a screen. I'll scratch the like, component, then it will be on my case. You see? Just to make everything like clean and all, all, the, all the, our customers to like it like it's a, it's, it's, they are brand new, just to, uh, to protect myself. Because when I'm working, I, I cannot work with my, my, my crossway because they will be dirty, you see. Specifically from, a, from an assembly perspective, what's most important about that is um, being able to work from a manual, being precise, um, having very controlled hands, almost like a surgeon, and, 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 and just being very disciplined in how you approach your job because on the floor here, we cannot make mistakes. People pay a lot of money for this equipment. This equipment is worth a lot of money, so we have to be careful in how we produce it. Colleagues and supervisors alike admire and appreciate Mandume's diligence and commitment. Mandume is a guy that adapts. That's one thing I can say about Mandume. You can, and, and he's very reliable. You can give Mandume anything to do, and uh, you will be well assured you, he will he will do what you told him to do. Besides being an assembly technician, he has numerous other responsibilities in the company. He's just a super talented um, hardware guy. Extremely honest. Extremely hardworking. I think the greatest quality about him for me is his ability to act like a sponge. Um, he learns all the time. He doesn't speak a lot, he's not that well spoken, but he speaks with the work he does. Um, exceptional. Pebble continues to make inroads as a Namibian brand. Mandume is an important cog in the production process and in allowing his employer to keep up with orders which often offer special and customized computer products. Most of the people we actually sell to now are corporate companies and yeah, things like um, City of Venduk and, and B2 Gold, Engler Gold, we've sold to them uh, multiple times. So yeah, we customize our products for them and that's the good thing about uh, a startup because you get to customize something according to the needs of the customer. Uh, the challenge is when we get like more order, then everyone say no, no, I want my computer to be done um, today or tomorrow. Then I need to build uh, five computers per day. Then I must, I must uh, push up my time. And sometimes I cannot get coffee anymore to drink. So I need to, uh, to push up so I can finish on time. Pebble tries to 
design computers specifically for the African market. When we look at things like electricity consumption, people uses 90% less energy than traditional desktop computers. We're just launching a, a, a unit called the Pebble Pop. The Pebble Pop is always connected. It's a router, it works with push-push SIM card, it has an eSIM and it has exceptional Wi-Fi connectivity which is perfect for the African market. Now these are the type of things that we try to do when we build our computers. Away from the demanding production deadlines, Mandume enjoys playing pool and spending time with family and friends, including twin brother Nande. No, oh, this guy is so not man. He was strange man. This guy is when we, we were too small, but for now he's school man. Yeah. When you grow up, like for now, for really, this guy is too cool. I'm so proud of him doing computer. So, like to me, I'm not a computer, but I'm not married fixing the radio. I started when I was too small, the time I was too, going to school. I was, it's where I started fixing the radio then. I did not go far with this. For now, I just went with the, or with a chef. I'm a chef. I'm working as a chef. Mandume Hamakwaya, confident, diligent, and fearless. His singular belief in his own ability makes him excel in a demanding production environment. His journey inspires us to believe in ourselves more, to take on more challenges, and to dig deeper within ourselves in conquering our fears. He believes in himself and his future is as bright as that of his employer. We are the first um, computer shop in Namibia where we manufacture computer. We um, produce here and assemble it here in Namibia. Always, we, we even design it here. Then after we, we assemble it, putting all the parts together, then we sell it out yeah, to Namibian people or even African people. Just like a dream, I make it. I'm still... Um, Learning more to, to have a higher position. Like Mandume, you too can live your passion and excel as a computer assembly technician. This insert is brought to you by the Namibia Training Authority as part of its Live Your Passion advocacy campaign to create awareness amongst young Namibians about technical and vocational careers. Join us again next week for another inspiring episode.